So I've come to Stuttgart in Germany to the home of Focus Bikes to ride their brand new Jam Squared e-bike. Now one of the most interesting things about the new Jam Squared is it comes with the brand new Bosch Performance CX motor. Now the big headline news with the Bosch Performance CX motor is that it's been vastly reduced in size and weight. This means that the designers can reduce the chain stay lengths and it also gives them more freedom with positioning of shocks and linkages. Like their competitors, Bros and Shimano, the new Bosch system does away with a tiny little driver cog and uses a standard size chain wheel. So it's actually a 34 on there. That means that reduces the anti-squat and much less chance of clogging up in the mud derailing chains, basically having dry train issues, which was a problem with the old Bosch system. The other big news with this is that it, there's an option to have a 625 watt hour battery. So that's an extra 125 watt hours over the standard 500. And that also beats Shimano's standard 500 watt hour system. Although the Bros uh, used on the specialized Turbo Levo does go up to 700, but it's still a big step forward in terms of range. So this new Jam Squared was gonna sit alongside the existing model, which comes with the Shimano system and Focus's own unique tech pack battery system, which uses a 380 watt hour battery in the down tube and then an additional option of a, a tech pack pig, piggyback battery that sits on top of the down tube. Now the new bike with the Bosch battery uh, is removable so you can take that inside and charge it inside your house if you don't have power in your garage or your shed. It's also a trail bike through and through 150 millimeters of travel front and rear you can get it with 29 inch or 27.5 inch wheels, the latter of which comes with plus size 2.8 inch tires. It actually uses the same frame. So what Focus has done is incorporated a chip in the dropout, which allows you to switch the uh, wheel sizes over and keep the geometry kind of around about the same. So you can adjust the BB height with that. Uh, and it will also affect the chain stay length slightly as well. There is even a uh, mullet bike in the range which is, uses the, the old uh, Shimano system, but uh, there's nothing stopping you on this, on this bike. If you wanted to swap the fork out, you could, you could run it as a 29 plus 27 and a half rear. So we've been riding the 29 inch version with um, the 2.6 inch Maxxis Recon tires and it's got the new XT SLX drivetrain on it uh, along with Fox suspension, a 34 fork up front and a uh, float DPS Evil out back. So what can I tell you about the new Bosch Performance CX motor? Well, the massive advantage is in its compact size and also the use of a standard chain ring. But in terms of performance, it still packs that punch that Bosch is renowned for plenty of torque, plenty of power, and the EMTB mode is a really intelligent way of riding, and it predicts accurately the amount of assistance you need depending on the terrain and the input that you're putting through the cranks. It's pretty responsive, so if you wanna start off on a climb, it generally doesn't take too much of a crank rotation to get it going. It is quite noisy though, definitely noisier than the Bro system and possibly the Shimano as well, but it's hard to tell, but it's certainly not a stealthy unit. Also, the controls are pretty clunky compared to the, Sh the uh, Shimano and particularly the Bro stuff on the Specialized. So the controller is quite large and the display is also quite large and there's not really a, an optimum way of mounting it. It sits on top of the stem um, and it uh, just feels like it's a bit vulnerable and probably don't need it to be that big. So it's still one area where I feel like Bosch is probably uh, a little bit behind some of the competition. In terms of ride feel, this is a 
pretty plush bike it's it's definitely on the the, the softer side of um, trail bikes and enduro bikes it's it feels like if you push it too hard it doesn't really want to uh, respond it, it's lacks a little bit of support and ramp up it's definitely one that uh, I could see being good for someone who likes just kind of riding trail centers uh, wants good suspension performance when they're pedaling and climbing but doesn't want to go and smash into berms and um, hit massive jumps and stuff it's, it's definitely kind of not that sort of bike with the setup here with the with the fox fork and fox shot which which i think in the 34 guys kind of lack a little bit of support um, it's definitely a really good kind of trail trail center single track bike though and uh, covers ground well feels efficient um, and it's still a really in engaging ride another thing i've noticed about this new bosch performance motor is that it doesn't quite have as much overrun uh, as the uh, shimano and certainly the bros motor now what i mean by that is when you stop pedaling the motor continues to spin for a certain amount of time and on the bros and shimano in, in boost mode it's uh, really noticeable how long that uh, that power can last for and that can be used to your advantage and sometimes it's to your disadvantage but on the bosch system it's uh, it definitely doesn't last as long so if you don't like that feeling of putting a, a little half crank in a corner and, and sort of the bike running away from you then you'll probably like this uh, Bosch system in that respect now the new jam squared is only available in aluminium frame although the older model with the Shimano system will be available with the carbon frame but it's not the same frame as this so obviously the mounting points are different um, the geometry is different it doesn't have the the flip chip at the rear so the kind of old bike and new bike are going to coexist for a while the old bike is going to come now free with the tech pack which is going to be a massive bonus for anyone who really wants to increase increase their range um, but i feel that this uh, bosch equipped bike is probably the better solution for for most people certainly for me um, because a you get almost the same battery capacity and b you can remove the battery easily and recharge it in your house which i think is a really convenient feature to have so that's a few new details about the new focus jam squared so hope you like the video please remember to like and subscribe and uh, hit us up with some comments below see what tell us what you think about the the new jam squared